so the concept of the Tonic Homebrew is that if you can build your own PC, you can build your own television. Okay. So what we've got here is the ability to buy your motherboard, buy your parts, uh, buy your screen panels. And that would be what that is right there, the motherboard? Right. What we're showing here. Or these are the, just the different parts. And right, so there's an example of, of the motherboard and some of the components that might go with the TV that you would buy. Okay. Um, so there are several different case types. There will be it doesn't have necessarily a panel on the front. Okay. There are types of panels, and then there will be a solid glass panel type, maybe with a capacitive touch. Are there any specific um, uh, OEM or hardware manufacturer, component manufacturers that you've partnered with to provide different panels and uh, you know components you need? Um, it, I will say that the, the, the processor is a Texas Instruments based processor. Okay. It's our Cortex A8 with okay. a DSP. So display, you, you wouldn't be able to uh, tell me anything about the display technology either? Or, uh, or is that just uh, kind the, of... Yeah, the, the displays themselves, um, you'll be able to buy the panels from us. Okay. Um, and they are zero pixel, um, zero dead pixel panels. Okay. Um, and, and so these will all, um, you can have them with uh, touch screen, you can have touch screen panels? Um, as well, or we haven't planned for that immediately. It doesn't mean we couldn't do that. Uh, okay. It's all fairly custom. So okay. So um, how would you? How do you interact with the Android interface without the touch screen? So right now, what we've done is we're just using an off-the-shelf uh, remote that you can get from Newegg or really anywhere. Mm. Um, has a USB wireless. Okay. Plugs into the USB port on the TV um, and allows you to. Uh, also has a little mouse up there. So we'd like to get a uh, an Android specific one. Okay. Uh, but we can map the keys however we want. Yeah. Um, one of the other main concepts sought behind this is that it's really going to be open for the developer community. So okay. you can buy the boards, and you can get the source code, you can modify it however you want. Nice. Um, so, so, like, say if um, you know Google releases Honeycomb to the open source absolutely. project, they can just load it onto their TV? That is absolutely the uh, the goal of ours. When, when Google TV comes out and we can get a hold of that source code, um, nice. it'll just be yet another option that, that people can use with the TV. Okay, about how many different Different configurations do you think uh, people can put together uh, for these TVs? Well, um, well there's obviously various uh, sizes. enclosures, and okay. the sizes go from 22 to uh, eventually up to 55 by the nice. end of the year. Um, and so you have all the enclosure types. There's different types of inputs uh, that you can have. So you can have a composite or a compo extra component input, uh, HDMI. Okay. It has SATA ports on board. You could get it with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, PC, mini PCIe. Um, you can either have no touch, you know, no buttons on the front, or you can have a capacitive touch. Oh, right. So, um, I guess I have one more question about the build your own apps. What's that all about? The build your own apps is really intended for developers, uh, Android developers. Who, if you're already developing for phones and you need to think about television um, and you want to see how your apps run on television mm -hmm. or how they how they should work with without a touch interface. Okay. Um, this is the kind of thing. If you want to build your own apps, you can do it with it whatever you want. Okay. So is this supposed to make building apps easier? Or or, um, or no, no, no more. It, it should it should be about the same as developing for your phone. So okay. if you're a phone developer and you're making apps for your phone, um, if you have one of these uh, a TV device, you can also uh, think about how it should work on the TV, and the app should be the same app. Nice. So that's all about just being open and yep, using absolutely. Android for what it was intended to be used for. Absolutely. Um, can is there is can we see the home screen just quick or is that the home screen for, uh, for Android? Oh, just yeah. want to see how it looks on just the. So this is kind of customized? Yeah, so this is, we took the, the core Android that you can just download, mm -hmm. we modified it to make, make it less phone-like, nice. and uh, created a home screen to kind of give people an idea for where we're at. So this is pretty much, you could, you know, pass up Samsung, LG, and all those internet TVs and just make your own. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have no... Uh, I mean, you have no, you're no not phases trying to... of competing directly right, with Google, right, right. Samsung and Google and those guys. It's just, uh, you know, we're, we're really targeting the, the modern community, the uh, do-it-yourself community, people who like who consider themselves tech savvy and want to do something cool. Right. Um, we thought it would be fun. We thought other people would think it'd be fun. So yeah, this is a uh, really interesting. Vidtonic Homebrew, create your own TV. I've never seen that before. Uh, and your name is Matt Miller. Matt Miller from Vidtonic. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank